Hello everyone and welcome to another video. We've been playing the USA this week and we'll continue to do so today. We did a bit better in the last round than the first, so uh, hopefully can keep that up. Without further ado, let's start the game. And we're in a residential area, which is good. I'm always a bit happier when we see this because it means we will more likely than not have something to go on. We're on Robin Avenue and B-U or R-U something street. Robin and is it Russia Street? Something like that. Russia Street, maybe not in the US, but, um, but perhaps. Let's go down here. Beautiful, bright countryside, surrounded by hills. Um, Robin Ave and Susan Ruth Street. Susan Ruth. I don't know that name. I don't recognize that. Let's see. This is clearly a more of a main road. Steve John. What do these say? Karate. Little shopping parade here. Karate. Yep. Um we can learn karate here. Good to know. Let's um let's carry on down this down this road, shall we? Quite hilly here. Uh, I'm not sure really where we are at the moment. It's uh throw me a little bit. Um, the smoke shop, the Indian kitchen, something dental. Not clear yet. Let's get to this main intersection. Oh, we've passed it. Whoops. Let's go to this main intersection and see what we can find. Plum Canyon Road. Plum Canyon Road. And we're on Bouquet Canyon Road. I think that's what CYN means, canyon. Plum and Bouquet Canyon, right. Well, goodness, I'm not sure where that is. Possibly somewhere kind of Californian. Wellston Drive. Maybe we're in North California. I'm only saying that because I, I don't recognize it and um, really... You know, it fits maybe with North California, the landscape. It doesn't feel as hot as as hot as Nevada or um or or Arizona even. So maybe maybe we're up here, maybe we're by Redding or Sacramento, Chico. Paradise. Perhaps we're in Paradise. Something Road, Canyon Road, Plum Canyon Road. Not sure. That's the initial guess, although I don't think we're right. Got to keep going. Urbandale Avenue. Montessori, San Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita now, I think I've heard of that. Santa Rosa. Reading. Fort Bragg, Eureka, Crescent City. Where is Santa Clarita? Chester... Santa Clarita, come on, Santa Maria, no, no, not long now, I think we're, we're right in here, but I think we're right saying that we're in California, but I, Central Valley maybe, this is the Central Valley, Merced, Fresno, Sacramento, Stockton, Concord, I don't think we're on the coast, Santa Clarita. Mount Shasta, no. Nope. Not sure. Not sure. Perhaps barking up the wrong tree then in California, but um Santa Clarita, that's a you know, those that's a sort of a Californian name, Saint St. Clarita. Uh, you don't find those kind of anywhere else. Parks. Park Salon. Farmer's Insurance. Suitors Point. No flags. Haven't seen the, the California state flag with the bear. Very famous flag. Haven't spotted that yet. So so might not be, be in California. I'm sticking with my guess for now. 
21 seconds. We're going to have to find something special to pull us um, further away. But I don't think we're going to be able to. We're still on Bouquet Canyon Road. Bouquet, they might say there. Santa Clarita. I can't see it. I'm sticking with the guests near Chico, but um, very curious to see where we are. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're a long way away from, from home, I'm afraid. Santa Clarita is just outside of Los Angeles. Wow. Didn't know that. Let's zoom in a bit. That's right. We were we were right in thinking we're around the hills. Um, Bouquet Canyon Road. There we are. Plum Canyon. That's what we started on. And actually, we started up here. J. Carroll Drive. Lisa. There was one that I thought looked like Russia, but maybe it was this one. The Rogers Drive. That must have been it. Rogers Drive is the one that I thought could be an R. Um, okay, well, look. We've learned something there. Santa Clarita is a pretty major town, actually. I knew I'd heard of it, but um, unfortunately, just didn't see it, uh, really. Um, outside of LA. Good to know for next time. Next round. I'm immediately going to just move to have a look at this sign and see what that says, because it looks promising. Don't want to move too far. What does this say? Oregon State Parks, Red Bridge. Well, that nails down the state pretty early on. Now, Red Bridge, is that the name of the park? Or is that just the name of a bridge that is coming up? Not sure. Portland is just at the north end of Oregon. It's The, the border is along the, the river there. So we don't have to look much further than that, or any further south than here. Okay, Red Bridge. Don't know. Don't feel like we've got it yet. And even if we did, we'd um, still have to move around a bit to find uh, where we were exactly on the road and so on. So we know that. We're in Oregon by Red Bridge. Hmm, lovely landscape here. I mean, what a fantastic part of the world we find ourselves in. We're along a river. That's good to know. Good to know we're along a river. I'm just trying to progress down here now as fast as possible to uh, to see what we can see. See if we can come across anything. Skipping over the bend if we can. Cutting corners. Cutting corners left, right and centre. Very twisty roads. Looks like we're up in some hills. So that could help if we get tight on time. It could help. The signs in the other directions, I, I think, are just going to be, um, you know, cautionary. So... I'm not not stopping to look. We might be coming across something here. A bit of bit of something built up. What does this say? Nothing. Nothing at all. Lovely log cabin. But um that's all we've got. The car's just about to overtake us. There he is. He's come on by. We're clearly going too slowly for him. Rocks, what does this say? Is there a name here? A name for the ranch? No. At least it's not visible. The twisty roads are, are slowing us down here, I think, a little bit. I can't quite progress around the corners as quickly as I'd have hoped. It's very twisty. Very twisty. With two minutes to go, I'm minded to have another look at the map and see what we can see. We're not coming across anything up here. We're really not. So look, if we look at the state of Oregon here, 
you know, I think the the more mountainous regions seem to be here between Mount Hood all the way down to Medford, as opposed to out here. Um, although, of course, you know, we could be here <laughs> still. There's, you know, we could be along this river. The river that separates Oregon from Idaho. Pine Creek. Can't see a red bridge. Perhaps we'll put a pin down there. Wouldn't that be great if we were, if we were close? Pine Creek, maybe. I'm just going to go back to the start. See, there was nothing else on that sign, was there? Nothing that said 86, no. Let's just go here for a fraction of a second. I've got to put a pin down here. Grand Ronde River. Does that help us? So it's not there. It's not the snake. Putting a safety pin down anyway. Are we back up here? Is that the Ronde River? Don't know. It doesn't have the name on it, unfortunately. Okay, well, that's going to be as close as I can get. And we were in the middle. Actually, not in a, in a particularly um, foresty-looking area. But uh, there we are. Didn't see a road number, unfortunately. Didn't see the 244, and we didn't get as far as the 84. So, uh, so yeah, very, very twisty, which um, really sort of makes progress hard. Where were we exactly? The Red Bridge is here. Red Bridge State Wayside on the Grand Ronde River. Fantastic. Well, what a lovely area of the world. Great to see. Great to see. Next round. Okay, no immediate clues or signs of life, so let's get a move on. Progress down here. Very leafy, green, bushy area of the world, it seems. Right, where are we? These two signs here have just been, just been bleeped out. I wonder if we can go back and just see them... Yes, we can. We're on Shetland Drive and Glasgow Road. Very Scottish names. So perhaps we're in the sort of northeast. Um, what does this Mr. Sparky say? Mr. Sparky.com, America's on time electrician. 8888 Sparky. And that is a United States flag. So that's. Not too much to go by. So Glasgow Road and Shetland Drive. Um, which way should we go? Why don't we go this way? Glasgow Road and Shetland Drive. These names might also be Scottish. That is Glasgow Road because we're on it. Um, What does this say? Maybe that's Montrose. That'd be another Scottish name. Let's keep going until we find something a bit more major. We've got to find something a bit more major here in order to get back to where we started. Oh, now the seasons have changed. Branch wood. Branch wood. And all of a sudden it's autumnal, so we're definitely in the north. Um, Lockerbie. Yes. All very Scottish. And we're back in the summer. <laughs> Look at that. Amazing how those images overlap. What does this say? Highlands Golf Club and Branchwood Recreation Centre. Highlands. Mm. They're really playing on the Scottish theme here. Buddy Vanetti. Buddy Vanetti for sale. 6.8 acres. Buddy Vanetti. Vanetti sounds like an Italian name. So, again, I'm thinking northeast of the United States, where they have the seasons. Now, what is that flag? That kind of has the um, 
kind of Confederate cross, uh, blue cross on it, it almost looks like. I don't recognize it. It's obviously just um, not fluttering in the breeze, and so it makes it very hard to see. Maybe just here. What is that? I don't recognize it, unfortunately. I'd be curious to look it up. Curious to look it up. Another, another sign here with some, possibly some interesting things on it. Loch Lomond. Goodness. Well, if I didn't know we were in the States, I might be double-guessing myself and imagining we're in Scotland. Unfortunately, though, I'm not sure where we are still. I'm going to put a pin down in a second, you know, in New York State, basically. Um, although I, I don't recognize the state flag. I said it before, I need to need to get better at those. Need to spend some time revising. We have yet to come to any kind of a major road. Of course, we could be somewhere else. It could be somewhere else that's equally, you know, as north in Michigan, maybe. Um, really, really not sure. Look at this now. It's totally, totally desolate, actually. And we've come to the end of the road. Great. Um, back to the start quickly, but uh, that won't help us. With 14 seconds to go, yeah, I'll put us out, out in maybe in New Hampshire or Massachusetts. How about that? Um, somewhere near, these are all English names, but maybe, maybe Nashua. Maybe Nashua. Not sure. Rubbish. Rubbish guess. We couldn't have been further away. Well, we could have, but we, but we couldn't have been. We were in Arkansas. Wow. Um, I'm amazed at, at how seasonal, um, you, you know, the effects of the seasons there on the, on the, on the, um, flora around us. It really went from being, you know, beautiful summer, rich greens to just being sort of almost dead looking trees. I, I didn't realize it got so seasonal in, in Arkansas, which I always associate with being desert like Oklahoma or, or even kind of um, more humid like Louisiana and, and consistent in that sense. But um, yeah, lots of Scottish streets, uh, Jura, Kinloss, Aberdeen, Beef, Islay. Fantastic. But uh, we never... Well, we were on the Glasgow Road and we never really found our way out. Um, so, yeah, unless you just knew it, um, you were, I was, I was stuck. Maybe you guys did better. Let me know in the comments. Next round. But yeah, that, that round hasn't worked out very well for us. Now here, what do those say? Something 77? The 115 and the 77. That's that's gonna have to help us. That's gonna have to help us because once again we're not we're not in any kind of built up area. One one five and seventy seven. The last time we saw this kind of quality, we were in we were in uh, Arizona. Won't we? I'm afraid I cannot make out a single word there. Ketterell, clear, area. Not sure. Something storage. I'm just going to get the other number. I, I forgot to write it down. 11577. 11577. We've spent a lot of time here now. Let's get a move on. 115 and 77. Could be a long way away yet. 
Without that much time, I'm minded to go for the map. Let's give it another 15 seconds. Nope. Nothing clear there. Okay, well let's let's go into Arizona. That's where we where we had it was around this area that we had terrible um imagery before. It looks similar, but uh the best things to go by are the road numbers, so let's try that. One one five and seventy seven. Eighteen, eighteen. They have huge roads in the States that span across the country, but unfortunately they make it very hard to, to see exactly, um, you know, if there's an order to them. 75, 71. So you'd imagine then the 77 would be out here too, but it, but then it isn't, you know. Um, are we at the border? Yes, we are. Not doing well here. This is tough. 77. There, we've come across a road with the number 77. I wonder if there's a if there's a 115. The 41. The 36. The 24. So maybe it's up. 77. turns into the 75. This looks too major for us, I'm afraid. Too major. The 77. Maybe it isn't. It's a pretty decent road by the looks of it on, on this uh, imagery here. 51. By Winnebago. Wow. Do we see the 115? That's all I'm looking for. I do not. The 275, the 92, 77, 77, 36. No. Nope. I'm going to keep our pin on the north side here by Sioux City. But, uh, yeah, really, really don't know, unfortunately. Well, we were further up, further up, actually close to the Canadian border. Not the same 77 that, no, of course not. Completely barking up the wrong tree. Frankly, we're lucky to be as close as we were. So uh, <laughs> there we go. Totally lost there, I'm afraid. Um, really didn't feel like we were making much progress in, in any direction. We couldn't go this way. So um we were obviously traveling down here and would have found ourselves on the Angus Road and eventually in, in Paler. But uh, yeah, that's a long way to go clicking on the map. So didn't get there. Next round. Okay, more of a built up area, which is good news. The Coal Bran Creamery. Groceries, groceries, licenses, fishing and hunting. We're on a kind of a bridge just there's sort of a creek this looks like a like a relatively decent road so um so we'll try that what do these signs say chain up area so chain up that implies that this is a location where you can stop and put on chains before before carrying on up a hill i.e when it might be snowing so we're in an area where you know it's hilly enough to snow and hilly and northern enough to snow and be of some demand to, to vehicles. 
going up there. Looks again like Californian to me. Colbran Rodeo Grounds. So is that the name of the town? Colbran. There's a green sign up here. Let's see what we can see. Just the 20 limit. Wow. What does this say? Kimball Creek. Buzzard Creek. Is that what that says? It's blurred out for some reason, but Kimball Creek and Buzzard Creek. Wow, look at the scenery. Look at the scenery. This feels Californian again to me. But my instincts these last few games in the States have not been good, so can easily be wrong. It's the last round this, so we'll try and make a good job of it. Kimball Creek. Let's see what's here. Not much. Okay, well, we're definitely out of town. I'm going to go back. And perhaps try this direction. See what we can see. This is, this is the town centre, it looks like. Ace Hardware. Can't be doing without an Ace Hardware. Dad's look here. Stockman's Bank. Marigold Market. 109 Main Street. So we were on Main Street. What does this say? U.S. Post Office. That should be the location there. What does that say? Colbran, Colorado. Colorado. Was wrong with... with um, it was, was very wrong with, uh, with California. Now, I wonder where Colbran is. I'm just going to sit here and have a look. Can we see it? Can we see Hot Sulphur Springs, Granbury, Winter Park, Bond, Gypsum, Basalt, Ashcroft. We're looking for Colbran. This looks like a small town, so I don't know. Hmm. It's not there, I don't think. It feels like we're in the hills, but not. So we've got Denver here. To the east of Denver are plains. This area... Seem to have lost it. This area out here is empty and not where we are. Moving east, now we enter the Rockies. This is all pretty alpine. Breckenridge, for example, famous ski resort, is, you know, really right up there in the hills. And that just feels too hilly to me. Vale is somewhere around here as well. There it is, Vale on the 70. These are huge ski resorts. And I just don't feel like we're in that kind of, that kind of area. Gypsum, Carbondale, Woody Creek. So my point being, I think we're further further west still. Let's go to Grand Junction. I'm looking along here. Carbondale, we're looking for Colbran. We don't have long now. That's it, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to stick to my guess. Out by Gunnison. No. Oh, it must have been right in front of me. Colbran, there we are, on the main street. And uh, we initially started up this PE road. If we'd have gone down main street first, we'd have, we'd have actually found it, I think. Unfortunately, I, I went on skipping up the highway. But anyway, lessons learned. If we start near a small town... Good to have a look in it first, as opposed to going for the main roads. Let's see how we did overall. Not as good a time, I'm afraid. Um, some desperate guesses in there. Uh, really, actually, we were closest at the end with Colbrand. The rest was a mess. So not a great day today, unfortunately. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed watching. And I will try and do a better job next time. See you in the next video.